Hello dear students of class 6. I'm here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about lesson 5 from English for Today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen. Thanks for your work. After the discussion of today's class, we will be able to Number one, read and understand texts. Number two, talk about people, places, and familiar objects in short and simple sentences. Number three, ask and answer questions. And number four, write short paragraphs. So before starting the class, let's see what Onik and Aisha are talking about. Hey Aisha, good news. My cousin is going to visit us. She is a news reporter, you know. That sounds interesting. What does a news reporter do? A news reporter gathers news and information to keep the public informed about important events. Collecting information must have been very challenging, but it helps a lot of people, I bet. Oh, yes. A few days back, my cousin reported about a damaged road in the main buzzer. Then the authority repaired it. That's great. Just like Onyx cousin, there are people around who help us by doing the job. For example, I'm a teacher. My job is to teach the young learners like you so that you can grow as a person. Now look at the pictures and think carefully about what they are doing. Then use suitable words from the box to describe the occupation of each person you can see at the screen. So these are the words. Newspaper hawker, nurse, cleaner, rickshaw puller, waiter, postman. So let's start. So can you say, yes, he's cleaner and he's waiter. Next picture, yes, he is a rickshaw puller and she is a nurse. Next picture, can you guess who they are? Yes. He is newspaper hawker and he is a postman. Okay, now practice. What you need to do? You need to choose appropriate words from the box to complete the dialogue below. The words are letters, restaurant, streets, place, morning. So let's start. What does a cleaner do? A cleaner cleans our houses office and gap etc so what will be the answer yes answer will be streets a cleaner cleans our houses office and streets see the next one what does a newspaper hawker do a hawker keeps us newspapers every morning exactly in the gap the answer will be morning see the next what does a postman do a postman delivers cat and the items to us. So what will be the word in the gap? Yes, a postman delivers letters. See the next one. What does a rickshaw puller do? A rickshaw puller takes us from one dash to another. So what will be the answer? Yes, from one place to another. Exactly. So this is the last one. What does a waiter do? A waiter serves food at the dash. Okay. Where exactly? Restaurant. A waiter serves food at the restaurant. Now, dear learners, open your English for Today book and go to page number 14. Let's read the text about Bulbul together. Bulbul collects rubbish from the Shankor area in Dhaka. Every morning, he wakes up at 5 o'clock and walks along the streets of Shonko to collect rubbish. 
people of Shankar put their rubbish in plastic bins and leave them in front of their houses. Bulbul walks from door to door to collect them. Sometimes the bins are very dirty and they smell bad. But Bulbul doesn't mind. He takes out everything from the bins and puts them in his van. He believes that all jobs are important. He works hard every day to keep this area clean. Last month, Bulbul was sick for two days, so he could not come to collect the rubbish. The people of Shankar were in great trouble. They got piles of rubbish waiting in front of their houses. The whole area became dirty and unhygienic. When Bulbul got well, he came back to Shankar. He collected everything from all the bins. Bulbul doesn't want to fall sick again. He realizes if he stops working even for a few days only, the whole area will turn into a big dustbin. Now, for each question, choose the right answer. Number one, what time does Bulbul wake up? Bulbul wakes up at seven o'clock, option A, and option B, five o'clock. So, from the reading, I think you can remember what will be the answer? Yes, the answer is five o'clock. See the next question. Where do the people of Shankar put their rubbish? The people of Shankar put their rubbish, option A, in front of their houses, and option B, in the streets. Yes, correct answer is in front of their houses. Next question, question three. Why does Bulbul think that all jobs are important. Bulbul thinks that all jobs are important because Option A. Every job has a unique role to play in the society. And Option B. Every job earns money. So, answer will be Yes. Option A. Every job has a unique role to play in the society. Next question. Question 4. What happened when Bulbul became sick? When Bulbul became sick, option A, people missed him. Option B, the whole area became dirty and unhygienic. Yes, the answer is option B, the whole area became dirty and unhygienic. Question 5, what will happen if Bulbul falls sick again? If Bulbul falls sick again, option A, the whole area will turn into a big dustbin. Option B, people will leave the area. So think about it. Answer will be A, the whole area will turn into a big dustbin. Now paragraph writing. Think of a person who helps you live well. Now write a paragraph on this person by answering the following questions. Question A. What does he or she do? Question B. What time does he or she start his or her work? Question C. How does he or she do the work? Question D. Does he or she like the job? Why or why not? Question E. What will happen if he or she stops working? And option F, what do you think about his or her job? We will have to write a short paragraph answering these questions. So I have already written a paragraph answering these questions. Let's read my paragraph, then you will be able to write your own. Yes, this is my paragraph. So let's read together. A doctor treats ill persons. He works in a hospital. Usually a doctor starts his work at 9 o'clock in the morning. Also, he has to attend his night duty every week. He has to attend his patients whenever they need him. A doctor examines a patient. Then he prescribes medicines for cure. A doctor likes his job very much because he gets to save lives by doing his job. 
if he stops working people will suffer a lot and won't get cured from diseases many patients can die too i think a doctor's job is very important as he helps us to live healthy so this is my paragraph now you can write a similar paragraph on the place you want to go to try practicing that at home now language focus notice the verbs in the italics in the following sentences a bulbul collects rubbish from the shankar area in dhaka collects bulbul collects option b every day he wakes up at 5 o'clock and walks along the streets of shankar he wakes up wakes and walks along walks these sentences are expressing about bulbul's habitual facts or what usually bulbul does on a daily basis whenever we talk about habits or usual routines we express it using simple present tense if you notice carefully you will see each verb in the italics has an extra s with its base form like in the first sentence the base form of verb in italic is collect but in the sentence the verb has an s with it why is that because in simple present tense the verb takes an s or es if the subject is any one person he or she in the first sentence subject is bulbul who is one person and in the second sentence the subject is he that is why the verb have taken s with them so the rule is very simple structure of simple present tense number 1 the structure will be subject that means one person or he or she then verb with s or es then extension for example bulbul one person collect with s bulbul collects rubbish so we can see more examples like it he loves to cook trita learns guitar every saturday a teacher teaches in the class she writes in the newspaper again notice the verbs in the following sentences in italics a people of shankar area became very upset b they got piles of rubbish waiting outside the house these sentences are describing about the incidents which happened in the past whenever we talk or describe about past we express it using simple past tense if you notice carefully you will see each verb in the italics is in its past form rather than its base form like in the first sentence the base form of the verb in italic is become but in the sentence the verb is in its past form became why is that because in simple past tense the verb is always in its past form so see the structure of simple past tense subject plus past form of verb and then extension see the example the people of shankar area became very upset so see more examples like it sakib played against england in his first match they helped the poor she learned to swim in the river i became the class captain last month now read the text on bulbul again then underline the present verbs and put a circle around the past verb careful you need to underline the present verbs and put circle around the past verbs okay so this is the text so let's see which are the present verbs and which are the past verbs collects 
present verb wakes up present verb walks present verb collect present verb put present verb leave present verb walks present verb collect present verb are present verb smell present verb doesn't mind present verb takes out present verb puts present verb believes present verb are present verb works present verb okay see the next paragraph was it is not present it is past verb so we encircle it couldn't come so couldn't past verb where past verb got past verb became past verb got past verb came past verb collected past verb doesn't want present verb realizes present verb stops present verb certainly we have understood which are present verbs and which are past now you need to write down the past form of the verbs in present tense from the text yes so these are the present form so we need to write down the past form collects past form is collected exactly wakes up woke up walks walked put present and past both are same put put leave left collect collected are where smell smelled does not did not takes took believes believed walks walked keep kept want wanted fall fell realizes realized stops stopped now what we need to do the reverse action write down the verbs in present tense from the text yes past form is here and we need to write down present form was is could not cannot where are got get became become came come collected collect so now let's see what we have learned today today we have learned about number one reading and understanding texts number two talking about people places and familiar objects in short and simple sentences number three asking and answering questions and number four writing short paragraphs so thank you very much follow the instructions of government and stay safe so follow facebook and youtube to see the class again thank you again from amar ghore amar school goodbye